Some of my favourite childhood memories of camping on Fraser Island would have to be driving on the beach. And as a kid I guess that meant we had some exciting adventure ahead. The journey starts on the mainland at a place called Inskip Point and Fraser Island is literally just a stone's throw across the passage. We jump on the barge, we stretch our feet, and in no time at all, we drive onto the beach and our adventure has begun. The minute you drive on the beach, the first thing you do is wind down your window. It just brings your senses alive. Mother Nature has already started to weave her magic. Everybody's happy, excited, feeling good. And now as we drive up the beach, we come across a shipwreck called the Mahino, which ran aground during a cyclone in 1935. And it's always a great place to get trigger happy with the camera. We all jump back in the car again and we start to head north, and it's not long before we come across a patch of pippies, which are a shellfish a bit like a mussel, and these will be great for fishing tomorrow. Show, show the camera. Nearly all of the driving is done on low tide, on the hard wet sand down near the water's edge. Hold on to your <laughs> However, there are many exit and entry points where we've got to get on and off the beach. And this is through very soft, fluffy sand. To avoid getting bogged in here, we simply reduce the tyre pressure earlier. make our way through an inland bypass. We reach our adventure destination, Waddy Point. We set up camp, we get the fire going, and we take in a spectacular Fraser Island sunset. Unbelievable. Next time on our Fraser Island adventure, we take you to Champagne Pools, take you to the inside of Fraser Island at Watumba Creek. I show you a mesmerizing sunset and we take you to the most crystal clear water I've ever seen. <laughs>